draining. So yeah. Now we're under a little cave. Yep, we're in a bridge that we know is safe and we're just having a little break until it stops raining, right? Yep. So what is it what's cool about the rain? Well what is the rain good for? It helps it helps the grass grow. Yeah. And it's actually been pretty dry around here lately. Like all the grass has been pretty dry. Yeah. So actually the rain it's actually pretty good that it's raining. Yeah. And it helps the worms come out when it's raining. Okay. And and it helps the all the plants grow. And that's yeah. gonna go through his his peach that he was eating over in the trash can. He's getting wet. He's gonna come back now. And uh, so this time of year has uh, been a little bit hotter. Yeah, right? it's summer, but summer. it's starting to be fall. It's starting to be fall. So the leaves, are, the leaves are leaves are starting to fall from the trees now. Yeah. A little bit. And you can see the rain across the field there. Down. And guys, if you saw our last video about the caterpillar, um, we showed our caterpillar that we got from our neighbor. And um, in a few minutes, we'll show you uh, what he looks like. Mm -hmm. And he actually turned into his cocoon. He did, huh? We'll have yeah. to show it on the, on here so everybody and can see him. Please leave a comment below um, so you could give us ideas of what to name him yet because we haven't made we need a name for a caterpillar. Yeah. He's going to turn into a nice uh, a moth, I think. Some caterpillars turn into moths and some turn into butterflies, right? Yeah. It's a nice rain that we're getting here. Sometimes what I like to do with the rain is dance in the rain. <laughs> yep. It's like a little shower. It's a little shower. No thunder or anything. With <laughs> yeah. Our kids love the rain. Oh, Enoch's running for the other tunnel. Oh, Sophia's running for the other tunnel too. Ah, uh, let's see. You guys think I can make it? I'm coming. <laughs> We made it! <laughs> okay, so it's still raining a little bit, but uh, this is a neat spot right here. Come on over here, guys. Um, because it opens up into a nice woodsy area. We like to hike over here, right? Yep. Once it so, stops raining, we might, we could show you guys a yep. little bit. Maybe after it rains, we could go over there and check it out. Um, what are some of the animals that we've seen over here? Enoch, come here, buddy. We have seen lots of birds. birds? And actually, once I've seen a fox over here. You've seen a fox over here? Yeah, and there's sometimes, it's like, there's sometimes like lots of squirrels, like lots of squirrels. Yeah. And stuff like that. Cool. And there's a river over here, right? Yeah. Um, so maybe after it rains, we can go see the river yeah. and see if it's like higher than usual. Yeah. And so I just saw something up here, guys. It's kind of cool. So look at up here. You see up here, there's this, this uh, ball. Go away. Go away. There's this uh, web yeah. in the tree. See that? Mm -hmm. yeah. And it even made a little ball right there. So we're going to have to look up and see what that is. There's a few different types of bugs and insects that will do that. Yeah. And it's actually not very good for the trees. No. Um, you see it kind of kills it the... It basically makes the tree sick. Yeah, makes the tree sick. Because it ties itself together. Here's a daddy long-legged spider we found on our little walk. These guys are cool. <laughs> and they're and they donut bite and they're on um, the yeah. Hey Bones. Are you gonna have to go to the bed? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so 
He's trying to find where to go. Like, I don't know, there's water on both sides. All right, so we are still on our walk watching the rain. Oop, come on, Ina. Come on, buddy. It's starting to uh, puddle. Looks like it's flooding. It's starting to puddle a little bit. Come on, buddy. Yeah, it's pretty good rain. Look at that. So we're going to go in a little bit here. Good rain. I love the sound of rain in the woods. And here's a little beetle. We're seeing all kinds of insects come out when it's raining. He's making his way across the ground. Here's some uh, video of the rain hitting the puddles. Go. Okay, we're making a run for it. Oh my god! Oh my god! So we're, the, heading we're heading back almost, and uh, we got a good rain. It's now it's starting to stop raining, so we're gonna go look at one thing over here, and then we'll head back home. Nice fresh rainwater in the lake over there. Yep. All right. So the rain has stopped. There's a group of geese over here. We're gonna go see uh, if there's any critters up here. Hey guys, so we're headed on, uh, we're heading back, and um, it's really green here. It just finished raining, and there's lots of big puddles. So yeah, pretty cool. And there's lots of geese. They like to. Go right there. Rain, 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 rain. I guess they like the rain. Yeah. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, here we are at the dam. And there's some some rainwater flowing over there. But it looks beautiful, so. Yeah. I just finished. Uh, raining pretty good, so we thought we'd see what the dam looks like. There's some a little bit of debris. Okay. And there's a beautiful lake right here. There we go. What do you think, guys? It looks so pretty. Yeah? Guys, fishing in the sign that's trying to not to. Yeah. Pretty cool. Beautiful scene. All right, we're gonna get, head home. 
Thanks for joining us. So we had to show you one more shot here. This beautiful scene. And you can see the clouds kind of over in the trees over there. Look at that. A fog. There's some over there. Very cool looking, huh? That's the lake after a nice rain. Beautiful. Okay, here we are again. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Hi Enoch. Hi. We are um, updating you on our little caterpillar. Um, <clears throat> as we talked about during our walk, right? Mm -hmm. And our caterpillar has a little habitat here. And uh, we've been giving him little little foods and leaves and, and some water and stuff. And we're learning about what caterpillars do. Because this one was very close to building a cocoon when we got him from uh, somebody gave us to, gave us gave it to him us <laughs> and uh to uh take care of and to see it change right so we're we're watching it and if i put my light right here you can kind of see right there he changed colors he, changed colors. he, went from he green was green. green like super green super green and then really plump like mm -hmm. really big and, then now he's and now red he's black. right there. Yeah. And he changed, turned red first, huh? Before mm -hmm. he. Now he's red and black. And then he molted, got rid of his skin, mm -hmm. and then he he turned into this this little, Very interesting. um, kind of like a small round thing, and we think that's the start of his cocoon there. But we're going to be reading about it. And we're going to be updating you guys. Because this is like our first time this having one of It's our first time, these. yeah. So we're and not really sure how to take care of it, but so we're learning. We're learning. And um, there he is. So uh, we're going to be learning about how caterpillars. Yeah, I'm shining it right there. Um, how caterpillars make their cocoons and what they turn into. This one's supposed to turn into a moth. Yep. And um, then and we saw on our walk a web in the tree, guys. Yeah. And what we realized actually is that that can be done by caterpillars sometimes. Turn it this way. Um, or other times it's called a, a web worm mm -hmm. that makes those those webs. So in case you were curious what that was. So anyway, we'll, we'll keep you updated on our little guy here. Um, so far, he's looking pretty good. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have a contest, right? Yep. To see if somebody can name him. Yeah. Whoever names him first gets, yeah. um, uh, gets a... We get to make a... Uh, oh, we'll pin their comment on our video. How about yeah. that? So... Oh, guys, guess yep. what? Cool. You guys want to see something kind of cool? Very cool. Do you guys want to see? So this shows the life cycle. It shows that the worm. Mm -hmm. This is what it looked like before, but he was green. He had some stripes. And then yep. now, look at this one. It looks very similar. Yeah, it looks similar, guys. Mama, look. I made a lantern. Look so over here. Look. See? It had turned red. Wait, and created his little cocoon. So that looks pretty similar. Mama, look. That's neat. Mama. So we're going to be reading more about this and the different phases. Mm -hmm. Cocoon, um, chrysalis, uh, there's the covering, hard shell covering around it. And now the insect is a pupa. And the pupa uh, transforms <laughs> into a butterfly. Or a moth, depending on what kind of caterpillar it is. So this is just one of the books that we have. Has us about the differences learns. between butterflies and moths too. Because we're learning about this. So stay tuned. We're going to keep you guys updated. This is how many days. Um, very cool.
Yeah. Let's see. So we're going to be researching it and forming our hypothesis, right, guys? Yeah.